Walker Nation, best station for information. About the Walking Dead, they won't cost you an arm and leg. Dave and Liz Solo, WalkerNation.net. All right, Walker Nation, Dave Solo, back with you from Walker, Stocker, Con, Orlando, day two. And you all know this gentleman to my left. It's Andrew J. West, otherwise known as Gareth. How are you, sir? I'm doing all right. How are you doing? Good. You look, you're looking great these oh, days. Intro. You gave it some, you gave it some bass. Gareth. Gar you, can't, you can't just say Gareth. No, Gareth. 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 So speaking of the man, the myth, the legend, Gareth, what was it like to be such a, some, what some people consider evil dude, not so much me? But some people consider them that way. What was one. it like? Yeah. Um, to get inside of his head and play a character was, like that. It wasn't about the head. It was all about the belly. I was well <laughs> fed. I was, I, there was nothing going on upstairs. It was just all about chowing down and, you know, making sure I, I, I got all in all the nutrients and, and vitamins <laughs> and stuff. No, you know, I mean, it was, it was awesome. It, but for me, it was never about get, necessarily getting inside the head of a guy who would do this type of thing. Because, like, let's be honest, I don't, I don't know. You know, I, I, I don't know where, what sort of depths you'd have to go to to rationalize this kind of stuff. For me, I just tried to make it a little bit simpler and just made it be about, all right, this guy's found a way to survive. He, he, he thinks that he's right, so I'm not even going to give it any more thought. He's justified enough for himself, so I'm going to break it down and just think about, like, what am I trying to do in each scene? I'm just trying to get information. Maybe I'm just trying to intimidate somebody. And that, that makes it simpler and easier and more human, too, and more relatable and grounded. Um, and you, you kind of will you, you kind of gather a calmness and casualness when you approach it that way that I think makes it ultimately more scary, you know, uh, based on the, on the context that you're, that's going on around you. So, yeah. Do you think if, if things had, had gone well, it went, it went before they let everybody in with you know with his mom and his brother you think they wouldn't have have completely stayed away from the whole cannibalism thing or you think it was those events that actually just triggered th that will to survive so 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 bad I think it was those events i think that they were ultimately good uh, initially good people uh, who who found that they they couldn't be good anymore that just didn't work for them and they had to find this other way of life which was frankly pretty depraved but um, no i don't think that they you know were were bad people to begin with yeah. No. So uh, you're doing a film, you did a film with Josh McDermott, yeah. right? what's that all about? Yeah, man, I'm so excited about this, you guys got to check it out. It's called Middleman, it's a, it's a comedy, it's a very dark comedy. Uh, I play a not so nice guy, um, I, I, I play a homicidal hitchhiker. It sort of deals in the world of, of, of stand-up comedy in, in, in this sort of underground desert world. It's a very surreal, sort of nightmarish movie. Uh, Josh is in it. He's amazing in it. He plays a stand-up comic. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's called Middleman. Look for it sometime uh, 2016, sometime next year. Great. Yeah. When are you going to do a romantic comedy? When are we going to get a rom-com out of Andrew oh, J. West? Man. I don't know. I mean, after The Walking Dead, I think any chances are probably dashed of doing a rom-com. Uh, who knows? I, I, think I, I think I'm still in the process of an image uh, overhaul before, before that can happen. Fair enough. Uh, so, hey, we, you know, one of our, our, our favorite questions to ask folks is if the zombie apocalypse happened tomorrow, what's the first thing that you're going to do? Um, fall into a heap and just sob until, I, I get, I, until a herd comes across me. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, uh, go to Disney World. Uh, I'm in Orlando. Uh, I was, nobody said that before. And no, yeah. we're in Orlando. I'm in Orlando, Florida right yeah. now. I'm going to Disney World. We're going to Disney I'm World. A place to myself. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us, yeah, sir. Yeah, thanks. Absolute yeah, pleasure. Good to see you again. Yeah. Likewise. All right, Walker Nation. Dave Solo back with you. Walker Soccer Con Orlando, day two. And this is the realization of a dream for me. <laughs> this is the light at all of the, uh, the end of all the tunnels for me. I'm here with the amazing David Morrissey, a.k.a. The Governor. How are you, sir? I'm well, yeah. It's been a great couple of days here, yeah. Hasn't it? Thanks again for the fantastic panel today. You were, you were amazing as always. Yeah, well, I love working with Scott. You know, it's great. We have a lot of stories to tell. And the questions here were wonderful as well, so that was great. They were great. Uh, so it's been a great con overall. What was, your, what was your highlight of the weekend? I don't know. I mean, just seeing everybody dressed up, that's great. You know, I mean, I love the way that people go for it. And, you know, and also meeting my friends as well who I haven't seen for a long time. You know, not just on the Walking Dead, but, you know, Sean Pertwee I saw who's in Gotham and stuff. I haven't seen him for a long time. Yeah. But I always love the panel. It's a great thing to do. So that was a big highlight for us. It was great. Again, thanks for sharing it. I know you, you still uh, you got some people waiting and whatnot, so I don't want to keep you too long. Yeah, I'm going to run and get a flight, actually. That's okay. where I'm going now. Yeah. But I want to know if the zombie apocalypse broke out tomorrow, what's the first thing that you, David Morrissey, is going to do? I'd get to Woodbury. That's what I yeah. do. I'd sort of build Woodbury and get a lot of canned food. Awesome. <laughs> Fantastic. Hey, thanks for taking the time. Really appreciate no it. No worries. Thank you.